So you're the one Benjamin sent to get the whelp to talk, eh? Well, go on then. Don't dawdle. And I'll thank you not to distract the jailers from their charge. Have no fear, master. I'll fare all right without you for a little while. Tis not our place to hurry the Arisen. Aye, what can I do for you? Oh, you want the banded whelp released, do you? I suppose I could consider it. Aye, being head jailer has its privileges. I could accommodate such a request if I were so inclined. Of course, you'd need to prove your integrity first. I can't go around. Aye, you've made your case well, but you might have to be patient. Are we leaving already? Oh, bother. I was just getting warmed up. Not all the import ever happens here, anyhow. I wonder if anyone would notice if I'm mistraining. Or I can do for you. Apologies, Master, but you will... No, there's no need to fret. These things take time. Have no fear, Master. I'll fare all right without you for a little while. Tis not our place to hurry the Arisen. Greetings, sir. You're here about the whelp, I presume. But I'm afraid things aren't going as smoothly as I'd hoped. It's my superiors, you see. They understand that there are some extenuating circumstances, but the lad's still a thief. Normally, I'd let the matter lie. But methinks I could find the courage to try again, with only a little motivation. What say you, sir? Have you... Aye, that's just what I needed to hear. You really must care for the whelp to go so far for him. Let's hope he's worth it, eh? We'll see if you can escape me a second time. Who are you supposed to be then, eh? Quit staring. Wait, you're one of the ones that came crawling into our hideout. Ha! Ha 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 ha! Ain't funny really. But seeing you is reminding me of that bleeding runt's face. Ha <laughs> ha I'm talking about Hugo, of course. Ha! <laughs> Didn't you hear him sobbing as we left? Lanzo, why? Boo hoo! <laughs> Bet he's still crying over it, eh? Like a babe without its mum. <laughs> of course, Lanzo's already forgotten about the poor sod. Was right glad to be rid of him, truth be told. That blackguard. Oh, it tells me there's more to his tale. I'm not sure I can stomach it, mind. Hugo's been following Lanzo around ever since he was a kid. Wouldn't quit it, neither. Even when it got him a beating. Still, there's a use for whelps like him. Guards aren't like to throw a brat in jail for pocketing a few trinkets, eh? They can earn their own living that way. When one shop starts getting suspicious, they just move on to another. Easy pickings for a kid, and having a few whelps along makes setting up in a new town a trice. The guards don't suspect a thing. But Hugo had gotten too big for that, see? We'd run out of uses for him. Well, save throwing him to the dogs, so as we could make our escape. <laughs> Hard to believe the lad never figured out we was using him. Real loggerhead, that one. Did he ever tell you his story? About how his parents were killed by brigands or some such? Couldn't be more obvious who that was, eh? Ah, his mum was a comely lass. Don't remember a thing about his da. We roughed them up, had a bit of fun. Emptied their purses and the like. Lanzo slit their throats himself. <laughs> It was hard not to laugh, watching daft little Hugo grow up, hanging off Lanzo's bootstraps and never questioning a damn thing. <laughs> We've a new hideout now, over on the ancient battleground. Aye, right. I ain't afraid to tell you that. I might owe Lanzo a favour or two, but not enough to rot in here for him. In fact, why don't you go pay him a visit, eh? Ain't right that I'm the only one in this hole.
cabin. I have been waiting for you, Arisen. What do you want now? Oi. Listen, do you think someone like me could live an honest life? After all that's happened? Come off it. You don't mean that. <laughs> You're serious. I've always wanted to try. Earning an honest living, I mean. But what could I do? Not sure as I've many skills, save picking pockets. <sighs> Suppose that dream was a crock of shite from the start. I ain't leaving this cell, let alone finding decent work. I've no relations, no coin for a decent bribe. I'll probably rot in here till I breathe my wretched last. I've always wondered what could I do? <sighs> Suppose that dream was of no relations, no coin for a dick. Hoy, I've glad tidings for you today, sir. Twas no mean feat, but my superiors have finally agreed to the whelp's release. He'll be out of his cell before you know it. How's that, eh? Worthy of a little gratitude, I should think. Aye, tis only proper we thank those who do us a service. And gratitude comes in all forms, as they say. Aye, that will do nicely. I feel well appreciated. Now the lad will be released, and all of us the happier for it. You for his freedom, me for a job well done. You're free to go, lad. What? Aren't you glad for your freedom? You're lucky to be out of this, you know? Aye. But what am I supposed to do now? Just live an honest life. No more stealing. I think you have it in you. Fancy words. Do you shine your shoes with him? Off with ya. And don't you come back now. Aye. You can count on that. Was it you who got me released? Suppose I should be grateful. But what am I to do now? Easy for him to talk of an honest life. But I've nowhere to turn. No one's gonna want me working for him. You know of a place I could work? Work? What? Are you toy? Do you know who you're dealing with? Bugger off if you want to see the morrow. Excellent find. Pray, allow me to open yon chest. It is hard to find my footing in this darkness.
Thank you. Whatever hardships we face. Delightful. Whatever hardships we face. I'm afraid I'm not here to listen. Astounding. I cannot deny that your gaze holds a certain allure. Whatever hardships we face. Wonderful. You know, many of our patrons wish to take me for themselves. Yet there is something different about you. Hmm, how curious. I lived a simpler life once. But one man changed all that. Tis no simple matter for a woman to make it this far on her lonesome. Yet after all this time, here I am. Here I am. Tis no simple matter for a woman to make it this far on her lonesome. Yet after all this time, here I am. Here I am. Tis no sim here I am. This place is awful dull. Your thumb can play from the my head will grow with Baltimore's arrival. Such quietude is a blessing. I suppose I ought to be used to this. Such quietude is a blessing. Good day, sir. What might you be looking for? This ladder looks sturdy enough to climb. Ah, oh, excellent find. What about you, see? Good evening, sir. Getting proper rest is an important duty. Peruse at your leisure. There's a ladder here. Ah. Oh. Excellent find. so that I might adopt the most effective stance to recuperate my strength. My sincerest apologies. Lady Wilhelmina is attending to a patron at present. Have you given the matter some more thought, Wilhelmina? I would have no other as my personal courtesan. I want you all to myself. When I imagine you in the arms of another, my heart feels apt to rend itself from my breast. Allard, pray forgive me, but I think it would be best for you to leave. We can discuss this matter another time. But why? We've only just... I am attending to a burden that all women must bear. I trust I need not elaborate further. Mm. 
I did not take you for the voyeuristic type. Why don't you come in? You have my thanks. Had I not noticed your presence, I might have slain him there and then. Tis no jest. You see, everything I've done these past few years has been leading up to this. I am here to kill him. But I cannot simply end his life. Oh no. I must first expose his misdeeds. Only then will I allow myself to grant him the miserable end he deserves. Or oh, so I'd sworn. But I've yet to find a single shred of evidence. Perhaps the time has come to surrender this crusade. You would lend me your aid. But I've done nary a thing to earn it. And recall that I've devoted years of my life to his pursuit, with naught to show for my troubles. If the proof I seek yet exists, it will not be so easily uncovered. I suppose there is truly naught I can do. Save deliver him a gruesome demise for all to behold, that is. Still, if you insist upon searching for evidence of his crimes, three days. I will give you three days to find what you seek. I shall wait patiently, though not with bated breath. Good to see you, Master. What am I supposed to do? You are not permitted to be here. Move along. wish to expose Allard's misdeeds. I know not whether I can assist you in this, friend. Ah, but of course. Patrick may know aught that could aid you. Go to his manor come nightfall. If you say you are in my employ, you should be allowed entry with no issue. What are we to do? Allard, long have I borne witness to the man's arrogance, and long has it infuriated me. I visited his manor once. I recall that he was rather particular about the placement of his paintings. Mayhap he's concealed aught behind one. Tis just the sort of thing one would expect from a man who places so much stock in appearances. Shall I summon him here? You could make use of his absence to steal into his manor and inspect his art collection. Excellent. I will send word to him presently of some urgent matter that requires his intervention. Once you've seen him depart his manor, make your way inside and stay alert. We may not get a second chance at this. A 
lonely place, but not without its charms. Off to market I go. I suspect this will suffice as proof. I overheard some of the soldiers standing guard outside the palace discussing a curious rumor. Regarding the Queen Regent and an important personage, you mean? Aye. Tell us, her ties to this figure from the neighboring country have a romantic tint. my fullest confidence. To think that the proprietress of the Myrmacolian was plotting such a thing, under normal circumstances, I would not overlook such a clear admission of murderous intent. But this is Allard we speak of. Of all the Queen Regent's sycophants, he possesses the greatest authority. His fall from grace would do much to further our cause. But where to find the evidence we seek? Perhaps the merchants he deals with possess aught that could serve us. Merchants with connections to Allard will reside in the Merchant Quarter, though they're not likely to divulge their secrets readily. Some piece of physical evidence would be far less easily refuted than mere testimony, I should think. Is there aught else you would speak of, Your Majesty? Now. That's one piece of evidence in hand. We might search for more, if you are so inclined, Master. Tis as you say. Tis not our place to hurry the Arisen. So, you've returned. I confess, I thought you might not. I was ready to settle things myself. Well, did you find what you were looking for? Thank you. I can't believe you found this. All that remains is to end that man's life with my own hands. I've no other tasks for you. This partnership of ours has come to a close. Unless you intend to see this through till the end. You're a curious one, aren't you? But what's just as curious is that I can't bring myself to refuse you. <laughs> All right, if you're offering your aid, then I'll gladly accept it. Come with me. Allard is in the room to the left. Go in and restrain him for me, would you? Never mind the mask. Consider it a charm of sorts. At last. It feels like an age has passed since... What is this? Who are you? Don't let him escape. off me, you fiend! Don't you know who I am? Oh, you hanged for this impudence! Oh, Allard. I've always wanted to see you like this. That voice! Wilhelmina! But why? Why would you... Do you still fail to recall? 
even with this mask staring you in the face. But I suppose for a man such as you, a little murder here or there is hardly worth remembering. What mockery is this? In your youth, you slew two individuals. The merchant whom you served and his wife. They had a child, as I am sure you are aware. A newborn babe who was spirited away by her loyal wet nurse. You mean to tell me you were their child? But how can this be? Your mother, she was a beastrum. Surely her child would be one as well. A fair assumption. But for better or worse, I didn't take after my mother. Save for in one respect. This is for my mother. And this is for my father. The time has come for all your sins to come to light, Allard. Mr. Allard, has something happened? We've been noticed. I suppose a scream that hideous was bound to attract some attention. We can't leave the way we came in. Fortunately, there's a window here. Thank you. I finally achieved my purpose here, and I owe it all to you. It would seem the residents of the palace have chosen to treat Allard's untimely passing as an accident. I imagine they deemed it safer not to make a fuss of the incident after perusing the evidence you uncovered for me. Shrewd as a den of foxes. <laughs> I'll give them that. I truly cannot thank you enough. But I want to try. Just this once, I'll give you something special. I'll grant unto you the sweetest of dreams. I know not what I would do without you. You have my thanks, but it's time to say farewell for now. Just know that my bordelry will e'er be your haven, should you have need of it. I'd like to walk in on his path, but no one's going to want me working for him. You... you think I could work there? But true, what? You went out and looked for a job for me, but why? Why would you put yourself to all that trouble? I... give it a try, I suppose. Not sure how it'll turn out, but it's a start at least. I'll do my best not to make a mess of it. Oh, and thank you, cuz. <laughs> 